Hi, this is Vicki with The Paper Connection. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator in the state of Georgia, and I wanted to show you a beautiful card. This is such a gorgeous card. I'm bringing it in a little closer so you can see it. I absolutely love this. I made this for my mother-in-law who lives in Florida uh, for Mother's Day. See the inside? Beautiful. And I was gonna do a video and show it before Mother's Day in case you wanted to purchase this set. Um, but she watches my videos. Thanks, Mom. Um, and I didn't want to spoil the surprise. But I'm happy to tell you that this does not just have to be a Mother's Day card. It can be a happy birthday card. It can be a I'm thinking about you card. Um, let's hang out together card. It can be a tea party um, invitation. That's the word, invitation. Um, it's just beautiful, and it's made with this beautiful vellum. It's, it comes from the... Tea Together stamp set. Can you see it? I'm not sure you can see it. Anyway, that um, stamp set I actually got from the Occasions catalog, which is going away June 3rd. However, it is being carried over into, ta-da, the new catalog. And it is such a wonderful catalog. It is so fun, such beautiful things in it. I can't open it and show it to you yet, but um, if you are interested in receiving one, I can order these the first week of May, and I would be happy to get one out to you. If you don't already have a, a demonstrator, a Stamping Up demonstrator, I would happy to be yours. And so just message me, the email up above, and I'll get one out to you right away. And so um, let's stop talking and let's just go play. Okay, so we're going to get started making our card here. Um, I think it's a beautiful card, and as I said before, you can make it into any type of card. I have all the Mother's Day cards that I need at this moment, so I am going to make this into a um, Thinking About You card. So I'm going to use the Tea Together stamp set for the flowers, the, the flowers and the teapot and the cup, and then I'm going to use the sentiment Thinking of You and Just Breathe from the Colorful Seasons. This is this is a great set, and it also comes with framelits. You can actually cut out an Adirondack chair. It, it's, it's really neat. It's great for fall, for winter. You've got snowflakes. For um, It's got a beach chair. It's a great stamp set. Okay, so let's get started. I'm using Petal Pink as my um, card base. We're going to go landscape, and I'm using Blackberry Bliss to get to be the, the very next layer and then Whisper White will go on top of that. Okay, then I'm going to put a layer of vellum which comes from Floral Romance which is in the Occasions catalog. This vellum is so beautiful and um, that's what we're going to make our teapot and our teacup out of. So let's go ahead and let's get our stamping done because it's going to need to dry before we run that through the big shot. And for my teapot and teacup, I'm going to use Mossy Meadow. Okay. Go ahead and ink up my teapot. And it's a little bit larger than my ink pad. So you just have to make sure that you're going all over. And it looks like I got pretty good coverage. So, all right, here we go. Boom. Just hold it down for a minute to make sure that you've got really um, good coverage and that you don't shake it. And then you're just going to lift it up. And I'm going to put that off to the side and let it dry. Then I'm going to pick up my cup and ink it up. And I'm going to use this paper here. Let's see. I think I do, I'll do it right there. It's so neat because when you cut it out, it looks like you have, as you can see, it looks like your teapot is patterned and your teacup is patterned. Okay, I'll be done with the mossy meadow. Let's just set that up here and let these two dry. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use Memento Black Ink and I'm going to stamp three different flowers on my scrap paper. Oh, that's a little bit, that's a little bit dark. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't ink that evenly. So let's try this again. 
Oops, I didn't do it enough that time. There we go, perfect. Two and three. Great, works for me. All right, I'm gonna close that up. And because I'm using um, Memento ink, I'm gonna be use my stamping blends. And um, my, your stamping blends are, they're alcohol-based markers. I'm using the Light and Dark Blackberry, Blackberry Bliss and the Dark Daffodil Delight, as well as the Combo Light and Dark Granny Apple Green. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start out with my darker color, and I'm just gonna kinda go around, like right in here, and just make some squigglies. And then I'll come back around with the lighter color and I'll blend it. Now you take your lighter color and you go into your dark and you just kind of move out and it will help to spread some of that out and it helps to blend it. But you want to be careful when you're going around the edges that you don't get too close to the edge. Because of it being an alcohol marker, it will spread. And while I'm doing this, I wanted to give credit to Patty Bennett. She is an incredible card designer. And um, I saw a Pinterest, a picture on Pinterest of this card, and so I cased it. Case means copy and share everything. And basically, when you do that, you're supposed to give credit to the person that you copied and shared. So I'm giving credit and shout outs to Patty Bennett. She's, she is such a great designer, card designer. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do with this is I'm going to just cover over the flowers with Wink of Stella just to give it a little bit of a glittery look and fancy it up just a little bit. I don't know if you can see the shine from it or not, but I'm not sure. You, oh, there you go. The light hit just right. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to adhere the vellum down and um, you have to be very careful with this and, and make um, light, light movements of glue. Otherwise, it'll end up showing. Now, up here, I'm not worried about it too much because it's going to be, um, it's going to be somewhat covered. But we're just going to lay it down right here. There we go. Okay, so we're going to be using the teapot that comes with the um, with the set and I have a magnetic frame for um, my big shot and then we'll use the little teacup it's gonna go right here hopefully I got it lined up right here I cut one of these off so that I can fit the flower on there as well. So we're just going to set. Okay. <laughs> the thing about magnetic magnetic platforms, they're wonderful because they stay they stay put. They keep your stuff where you want it to be, but they're a pain too because if you have it if you don't have it just so, it'll pop around because of the polarity. Okay, let's see if I can put this down without moving anything. There we go. Now I'm just going to crank that through, and yes, that is normal for it to sound like it's breaking. It's not really. I'm going to run it through one more time. Okay, and then I'll run the other two flowers. You see how this works off screen. And we're just going to see where we're going to put this so that we know where we can put our sentiment. And I'm just going to overlap it again like that. All right, so let's go ahead and ink up our sentiment. I just love that script. It's really such a pretty script. All righty. So now we're going to glue this in place. And we'll be sparing with the glue because we don't want it to show too much. 
and I'm going to use this to pick it up. This is my take your pick tool and I'll use the putty side. Just kind of pick it up and set it mm, right about here. There we go. I may have set it lower than I did the other one, but it will be fine. There we go. Now we'll put the ink on the back of this one. I probably should have used Stazon or Memento ink on this, but um, because I don't think it's quite dry, but it's okay. It's going to work fine. There we go. So then I'm going to take these and I'm going to pop them up on dimensionals. I placed that a little off the page because it was coming up just slightly. And you've got to be careful with, with your glue when you're using vellum because it will, um, it will show through. So I didn't want to be too liberal with the glue. I'm going to put this right here. So let's go ahead and get this adhered down to our Blackberry Bliss. And then we'll adhere it to the petal pink. You always have to make sure which direction your card is opening. I have put them on upside down before, and that's a pain. Okay, and I have some pretty little bling blings that I think I'll use. Mm -hmm. Maybe right there, right here. right here and that's got the outside of our card now we just have to do the inside and I'm going to use the Blackberry Bliss again and we're going to say just breathe sometimes life gets so stressful and so hard that we forget we forget to, to just breathe you know we forget let me get get that off of there um, we forget to just exhale. I have to remind myself sometimes just to breathe in. I always say breathe in Jesus and breathe out the ick. And that might sound sacrilegious and silly to some, but I do take a moment to just breathe in his peace and breathe out the anxiety or the worry or the fear or whatever it is I'm feeling at that moment. And it helps. It helps to just breathe. Just regroup and just breathe. It doesn't fix problems necessarily, but it can help you to get out of panic mode, which is easy to get into. And that is the voice of experience. Okay. Didn't know you were going to get a counseling session while you learned how to make a card today, did you? <laughs> just coloring those in and that's it that's our card today see I was able to use the same stamp set make it little, look a little bit different and it become a thinking of you card I hope you enjoyed this video um, I hope you um, will leave a comment or if you have any questions that you'll just uh, post your questions for me if you liked the video, I ask that you just hit subscribe and hit the little bell so you'll be notified whenever the next video comes along. And I thank you so much for spending your time with me. I hope you have a wonderful day.